uh, I just wanted to stop by. Uh, since we live in a world where we put everything on social media, I just wanted to chime in on the whole COVID thing. Uh, they uh, they shut down all sports. Uh, Hollywood is closed. Okay, Hollywood, where I'm trying to go canceling all the summer concerts and everything. I have not worked in about, what, a month? I got a lot of concert tickets this summer, okay? I don't need this shit. This is the biggest overblown thing ever. <laughs> There's no way the United States government is going to shut us down like this, okay? This is just very temporarily. I just wanted to just throw my two cents in there. We're gonna be fine, all right? Nothing bad is gonna happen. It's the year 2024. The virus has mutated. Martial law is in full effect. This is a tragic event. People must stay inside their homes or property. The U.S. government is paying for all bills and also brings food trucks to each home weekly to its citizens. Just feel bad for everybody stuck inside. Stay strong, everyone. Some television, movies, and sports teams are up and running again. The herbs that are needed for the cure only grow in a certain part of the world a certain time of year. I've been cured for nine months now. Five years. Four years. In the 70s, they made a TV movie with John Travolta about a sick kid called The Boy in the Plastic Bubble. And let me tell you, if they start selling these things on Amazon, we're in trouble. The herbs that are needed for the cure only grow in a certain part of the world at the start of each year. This means only so many Americans can be cured per year. Martial law is in effect with the stay-at-home process, and zero-tolerance law is in effect. Any citizen leaving their property is to be executed on site. Those that took the cure can be infected again. This is why the rule is in effect until everyone is cured. I, th I actually think we could do more for everyone. You can only live in your mind for so long. Whenever a culture is challenged by a war, a pandemic, an economic depression, the culture always digs deeper into their faith. It's happened throughout history every single time. The U.S. military will enforce this law until every American can return safely to society. How could you go through five years and stay sane? I mean, I couldn't do that. Evaluations are so important. It's what keeps order. What we have to do is make sure that we have treatment for those Americans. Meanwhile, those in quarantine usually have their webcams running 24-7 and open to the public for full view. Anything really to get them through the day. Wow, look at you. You look amazing. Thank you. So do you. And I love to see you smile. Especially if I'm the one that put it there. I know, babe. So, you think I could see a little more of you? Of course you can. God, you're in my life. I hope you like what you see. Oh, <laughs>
Oh, this is the part where you see me, right? Mm -hmm. I got you, babe. Okay, and um, you know that chair? Yeah, you can just like get rid of that. <laughs> Your turn. That's fair. You do something for me, I do something for you. That's the basis of a good relationship. Came back in. I'm sorry. Oh, where's the dislike button? I gotta go. I love you. Love you too. Yo, what's up, my friend? Hey, man, nothing much. Just a little tired. Tell me you weren't up all night on social media arguing with random people again. You know, this one guy said that Reagan was the best president. I can't believe that. I was like, fucking Reagan? Fucking Reagan. I mean, this guy was even born when Reagan was in office. Yo, 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 brother, calm down. Just take it easy. I gotta get a better grip on this thing, man. This, this you know, some people. Yeah, dude. Like, I spend a lot of time on cam, but social media, you know everyone's lost it. Stay away from it. And thanks. You know, you know me for for many years, and you're always checking on me, so I appreciate it. Brother, I got you on this. Like, you know, this is hard for me too. Just keep a positive mind. We're gonna get through this, okay? Concerts, conventions, girls. Hey, we came this far, right? Dude, this guy's messaged me again right now. Dude. Just block him. Let me take this. No, you could just leave it. This guy went too far. Fuck this guy. Why do you keep calling here, Oliver? Oliver, why do you keep calling here? I, I, I just wanted to see what you were, were doing. Oliver, for the last time, I don't want to be your friend. Did you see The Walking Dead? I've seen every show like everybody else. You know we don't have many TV shows. So why would I miss it? Why, Oliver? Why? How do you, how you think it's going to end? It will never end. Not as long as we're all stuck inside. Oliver, please never call here again. I'm about to celebrate my birthday all by myself. So, once upon a time, I actually celebrated my birthday with actual humans. But right now, I get to celebrate my birthday with a bottle of Bacardi and my fake friend. What the hell happened? Tony, how you been? Hey, I'm doing good. I'm so happy you answered. Yeah, I'm writing a book about when I used to be an independent film. Great. When does it come out? I'll buy one. <laughs> Thanks. It's definitely gonna be a while. How's everything up in Oregon? As good as it's gonna get for now, you know. Laz, I really missed you. Yeah, sorry about that. But you know how it is. Some days are better than others. I know, I know. I'm just saying I'm always here for you. 
flight when this is over. Would you want to come visit me? So. I'm sorry. Am I talking too much? Oh, no, it's all good. But you know, I got to take a call in a little bit. Oh, it's okay. You think I can call you back? Maybe. I mean, if I don't answer, it's because I'm deep into the script. No problem. And so you know you can call me anytime. You know I'm always here for you. Thanks, Tony. That means a lot. So... I think I could look at you a bit. Anything for my man. So what do you want to see? Sorry. Think I can call you back? Yes. think I can be a model? Sure do with that face. My mom always wanted to be a model. Did you know I was a cheerleader? No. This is shocking news to me. So listen, like, are you shy about your body? Because models do take their tops off. <laughs> are you gonna take your top off for me? <laughs> No, that would be so weird. My friend Ashley always does when we go out. She flashes everyone. Can you direct me to Ashley, please? You know, I'm still taking classes online. I talk to my parents every day. Hey, all that is important. I know what you're waiting for. I can tell the only reason you're here. And, uh... What do you mean by that? You clearly want to see me naked. You just say it. Oh, is that why I'm here? <laughs> you know I don't mind sharing my body with you. Look, you're hot. The only reason I haven't hung up on you yet. I don't mind getting naked for you. Oh, you got me figured out, do you? Okay, get fully naked for me. All right. If you think you can handle it. Okay, are you ready? And this is how ready I am. California is a very fun season. Came down here. California is nice, huh? Good morning, babe. How are you doing this fine morning? Always great to start the morning off with you. How you feeling? that much of a morning person. One day, we'll get to do this together, outside. My sweet Cherie. All right, so we're at the bar here. Uh, yes, this is the jukebox, what I was telling you about. The one with the great Elvis and the Marilyn Monroe. I know you said you had all your 50 stuff, so 
you're gone with the wind, the Three Stooges, it's all welcome here. It's gonna fit great. Plenty of room in here for all your stuff, all right? What is up, my dude? Just call my favorite couple. How are you and Ava doing? Man, uh, I'm okay. I, I really, I really am fine, but the girl, she's kind of going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, how are you doing, bro? All alone in that big house? Well, I don't know what's worse, being stuck inside alone or being stuck inside with someone you can't get rid of. <laughs> I know that oh, one. Oh, <laughs> hi, Laz. So good to see you. So great to see you both. You know, you're my favorite couple. I root for you. Oh, thanks, Laz. I actually started a new art project on one of the basement walls. Yeah. She doesn't even have any supplies yet, Laz. She actually cleared out a whole side of the room and started drawing on the wall in pencil, nonetheless. Well, Einstein, in case you didn't know, every great artist starts with a pencil. The fuck? I'm sorry that I know a week in advance what I want to do. I know the supplies don't come till next week. <laughs> what the f Hey! Don't do this shit in front of our friend! Holy shit, Laz. This is why you should be lucky that you're single. You don't gotta deal with this bullshit constantly. It's fucking ridiculous. She made Hey! You don't do this in front of people. Guys, please calm down. Get the fuck off me! No! Hey, Les. Who do you think is going to win the game on Sunday? Can't tell you I'm too concerned about the game right now. Can you check on her? Listen, I got all night to talk. I'm just going to fuck her. Ow! Don't touch me. Les! <laughs> Sweetie, don't say anything, just listen. I need to make this fast. Look, he knows something is up. Don't worry, I'm fine. He's not hurting me or anything, but you know in situations- Well, what do you mean? He better not. Baby, shh. I need you to keep your voice down, okay? I'm fine, but I need you to do something for me. Are you listening? I'm listening, baby. Please tell me what's going on. Well, he heard us. He couldn't understand anything we were saying, so it means I could deny it, and I am. <sighs> but I need you to do something for me. I love you, Cherie. Of course I will. I need you to not call me and wait for me to call you. I, I know, I know. It's just until things die down, I swear. I need you, Cherie. Laz, I love you. When all this clears up, I'll leave him and I'll be with you. I'm all yours, baby. Ava, are you okay? Where's Jackson? I hate him, Laz. I don't think you mean that. It's just hard living under the same roof, you know? No. 
I want him to die. Oh, dead? Did I hear you right, Ava? You want me dead? Jackson, I need you to calm down, okay? What's this all talk about, is this, okay? No, 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 Laz. There's no fucking talking about it. None of your hippie bullshit words are gonna work here. Ava, turn the computer off. And the next time you wanna talk about me being dead, you better be ready to do it yourself. Oh my God, how are you? I missed you. Hey, Tawny, how you been? How's my girl doing? Your girl doing? Don't tease me. You know I think the world of you. Who says I'm teasing? You and me for real? Did you just make me your girlfriend? So how's your day going? Just watching the news and some old concerts. It's hot in here. I'm taking my shirt off. Yes. Please do that. <laughs> you want? I can take mine off as well. You ever want to live on the East Coast? Yeah, of course I would. Why do you ask? Donnie, I gotta go. Laz, what are you doing? Hey Laz, listen, we're okay over here. I just wanted to say sorry about last time. Got a little out of hand, you know? You sure you're both okay? You both had me scared last time. Nah, for real, man. We're good. I promise you, you know? I got a roll. I just wanted to call and apologize real quick. Thanks for checking in, friend. I don't think that they would fight if they were in the river. Someone ought to get you off the streets. Someone ought to put the fish in the I don't know. Yeah, they probably would, man. You know, if you're gonna leave people, you have to have somewhere to go. What's up, Sal? Five to eight years is what the fuck is up? Did you see the shit? What shit where? What's going on? The, the news, the fucking news, man. We can't get our cures until five to eight years now. Did you fucking see that? No. No! This isn't happening. In breaking news, we at World News have uncovered documents that Americans have been hiding from its people. The within a year timetable that every American would be cured, we've now learned is a lie. It will take up to five to eight years, depending on your population. This is going to be a very long no. road to recovery. Eight more years, Oliver. Eight more. Do you hear me? <laughs> you don't matter. You have to call her. 
thank God. I'm sorry, I know I'm not supposed to call you like this, but I just had to reach out with you with everything going on. Laz, is it? Sheree, baby, what's going on? Okay, Laz. Are you sure you have the right number? Is there anything I can do for you? Sheree, baby. What's going on? Lass, who's your doctor? Please let me help you. <laughs> Don't do this to me, baby. I need you right now. Lass, I think I need to report you for evaluation. I am very, very concerned for you. You and I have never, ever spoken. I, I have a family and I'm not in lockdown. I feel so sorry for you and the others. But I think you know this is what I have to do. That's the only way this is gonna end. I, I am so sorry, Laz. Laz, what did you do? I didn't do anything, Brooke. She was the love of my life. Laz, you need to listen to me. She submitted you for evaluation. You know what that means. Nothing is going to happen to me. Oh, it is happening, okay? She, she pressed the button. Eight more years, Brooke. Eight more years! I know, brother. You need to listen right now. Yeah? Oh, hey. Oh, hey, what? Do I know you? What do you want? You know, I'm really getting sick of girls like you contacting me out of the blue. Why did you call here? Can you give me a minute to talk? Please don't hang up. Who the hell are you? I didn't know how to reach out. You didn't know what? I'm sorry. Will you talk to me, please? I wanted to. I just didn't know how to say anything. You know what? I have to submit you for evaluation. Yeah. You know how it is. You can't take chances in today's world. No, please don't. Coast. No. No, I love him. Laz, what have you done? I just got a call from Cherie. You know I have to ask you some questions. I searched your history and noticed you've been watching her for a year now. To those of you still in quarantine, I want you to know that there is still life out here and it's waiting for you as soon as you get out. <laughs> we miss and love you all. But you never spoke to her once, you understand? Laz, this is in your mind. I need you to talk to me. Where are you right now? She's all I ever wanted. You know what happens when you and I stop talking, right? I'm trying to give you another chance. This is not uncommon with everything that's going on. I just need to make sure that you're not too far gone. They're on their way to that girl Tawny's place right now. I don't know her. It's not my problem, okay? All that matters is Sheree. 
Don't. Don't you do anything. Laz, I'm sorry that I failed you. Ever. <laughs> what about me? And so you know you can call me anytime. Fucking Reagan! I hate him, Laz. Did, did you see The Walking Dead? Laz! That would be so weird. Story. The killer who tells the story. It's the killer who tells the story. The killer.